this is a blast from the past. Uh, this is Kitty Styles. If you don't know, Kitty Styles um, was briefly kind of sector famous because um, he went by. He was he, he was a streamer on Stream.me, which unless you're a retard like me, you have no idea what this is. Stream.me was a streaming platform operated by a hosting company that was basically taken over by Ethan Ralph at his absolute peak. Um, after the heel stream, he he was he was doing like several seven like multiple thousand dollars every stream, and when he got banned from um, YouTube after the heel stream, uh, he moved to Stream.me, which had a five hundred dollar a day reward for whoever had the most watch time on their streams uh at the actually it was a 500 hundred dollar a week reward for whoever had the most watch time on their streams so at the time kitty styles was there before ralph and it was a very 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 small platform and the, uh, like i'm talking like a couple dozen people watching stuff so kitty would watch um would just stream for hours a day every day and just by having like virtue of like 10 viewers and streaming 16 hours a day, he would always be one of the top streamers and get either like the $500 reward. It would cut in half. It was like 500, 250, 125, 75. So he'd always come in top. And since he was literally like unable to be employed, he, this was really good money for him um, as a job. So he was content, but Oh, and by the way, the reason why he couldn't get a get a job is that he made a threat to like a Danish politician saying like, I, I hope you get acid burn in your face for doing thing I don't like. I can't remember what it was. She, I don't even want to try to guess. I just remember that. I think it was very specifically. He said, I hope that like a Muslim throws acid in your face. So he got charged with like threatening a politician or something. And then he was in jail for like a couple months. And when he came out, his I think his wife and daughter were gone. I think he has a child with a woman, and she, he lost custody completely after he went to jail for threatening this politician. This isn't my memory, by the way. You know how my memory is. Um, so he, he's he's on stream after he gets you know he can't be hired because he has this conviction for a violent threat, and he's lost custody and he's just the biggest fucking loser. But he's making a little bit of extra money. Um, because he's on this this weird platform that's just giving him money to, sh to to stream lifelessly, and then my boy Ethan Ralph of the Keel Stream Baby sees that there's a free, basically free, two thousand dollars a month to stream on this stream. Dot me. Well, don't mind if I do. And Ethan Ralph, basically by default, just because he was the Kill Stream, um, won this five hundred dollars a week. Um, just by doing his regular show because thousands of people would watch the kill stream at this time. And not only did Ralph come over, but I started streaming on stream. Me. Um, there was the guy who did the phone calls, um, the Southern, Southern poverty call center or something. Um, and he did like crank calls and that was really popular. So you had all these people who came over and were suddenly competing with um, Kitty styles and he was getting kicked out of like the top to the point where he was only getting like $25 a week. And then there were people who just wanted to fuck with Kitty style. One guy was called the Danish police. I think he, he, he has, he has his own story, but he started lifelessly streaming Kitty styles too. And his streams of just restreaming Kitty style got more views than Kitty style streams. And it was just enough people streaming to kick Kitty style off of this top chart completely. So he was no longer getting like any money from stream.me for streaming. Um, and Kitty style had like a fucking apocalyptic meltdown that this guy was just restreaming his content and, and getting more views and, and likes, uh, just by watching him constantly and making fun of him. So, um, he would, he would, I, I, I should probably, I could, if I had the internet, I could go back and find these videos of him screaming at the top of his, you know what? It's so funny. And it's been so long that it might be worth it. Chat. Let's see. This is, this is risky. This is the most risky thing I've done on the stream. Oh God. Some, I made this thread. I completely forgot about this. Oh, let me hide this before. Oh, he, he'll do MS Paint drawings as well. Um, is this it? Oh, 
Hold up, I have a I have a web in here. Let's see. Dude, I covered this all the time on old on the old, it's been years since I've talked about Katie Styles, literally years. Um so I I would love to show you guys, especially like new viewers, this classic, classic content. Alas though, life is suffering, chat. Um, oh, come on, man. Don't do this to me. Maybe if I close the tab and then retry, is that going to work? <sighs> so I'll, I'll give you more background on them while I desperately wait for this to load. Um, one of the things I think that he, that got people to really hate him is that he at some point during his content churn, admit that he had sex with his sister, like his younger sister, when he was like, a, I think a teenager. So he, he was getting called like a pedophile and stuff. I can't remember that well enough to opine over, I forget the details of it. It was creepy. It was creepy enough that everybody hated him. Um, actually, he got banned, I think. I think when it when this when he came out, he like had a rage and was like talking about how fucked up his life was, and he said basically he molested his younger sister. I think they banned him from that, like from the, the stream dot me stuff. She was six, he was fourteen. Damn, how do you remember this shit? Yeah, it was some shit like that. It was fucking gnarly. Um, so now apparently Kitty Cell is still around, and. Um, he is hungry. He is literally starving because of the pain that has been inflicted upon him by the cyberbullies of the world. This is him telling everybody he's hungry. Somebody slowly. Might as well fucking come and stab me in the face. Just do it. Come and kill me right now because I can't eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, dude. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I am hungry. Yeah, do you see these ribs? Hey, I'm hungry every day. Every day. Every day I'm hungry, dude. Every day. Every day. Every day I'm hungry. Yeah. Every day. I'm pushing my luck here. He just continues to say that he's hungry. Um, so while we wait for that to load, I'll, I'll play it in a second. Um... I, I did like a little look up and the hungry student guide to Copenhagen soup kitchens, low budget food. This is the craft book at, um, you can get it in foul gods, Svei, um, for 20 kroner. How much is 20 kroner? You might ask chat 15 cents for 15 pennies. You can eat this nutritionally complete Danish meal. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering, you, you're probably not, but I, I guess I'll say this. In Europe, um, Denmark is famous for having the worst food of, the, of Europe, um, besides the English. But they don't really consider the English Europeans. They consider them a great shame. Um, so as far as Europeans go, Danish food is like a joke. Um, this is 38 kroner, so this is like 30 cents. This is Nielandsve. Uh, it is not vegetarian. This is vegan, by the way. So this is like really healthy. You can digest this without any problem. If you're if you're like in a state of actual starvation and you can't eat, uh, you can digest that fine. Um, I don't know what that is. It looks like eggs. No, those are dumplings. Those are dumplings in like a sauce. I see some cabbage, some toast, and it looks like rice. Um, traditional Danish cooking. So, like you're having dinner at grandma's. Oh, does does this come with a beer? This is also like 20 cents. It's always vegan. It looks like a casserole and some cabbage or greens. I don't I don't think that uh fest ye ye or yestin comes with it. Or stay for a little Friday beer. You probably have to pay extra for the beer, I have a feeling. Uh, this is also I'm just saying my point here is. You, you you have no excuse for going hungry in Denmark. 
one of the most first world countries in the world, one of the highest standards of livings ever in human history, uh, with one of the, like a, a socialist government, to sit there and say, I'm hungry because people call me a pedophile on the internet is bullshit. You can go here and have very fine looking, as good as Denmark food gets, and be, ha be happy, be full. Hey, I'm hungry. Look. I'm oh no, he's, he's showing off his Adonis belt. Quickly, Sony, throw some fabric on this man. This is too, uh, <laughs> too exposed for my Western audience. Yeah, yeah, it's real. It's real. Bro, put your pants you back on. You got that. You ruined my life. I don't want to see this. Yeah, because I can't my rent. But you think it's funny. Do you think that this, this, this do you think that this is funny that this man suffering in his trailer off uh, the meager pittance that the Danish government allows him to have is humorous chat are you so cold-hearted uh oh I might be cuckaroosed on this video chat let me try to let me try to download it and then I can like I don't know. Then I can cope and see about it a little bit more. <laughs> he never runs out of weed, <laughs> bro. That's you can't you can't take away his weed. That's Danish culture. That's like racism against Danish people to try and take away his fucking weed. Maybe like a Nazi. <laughs> it's not the the Reich protectorate of Denmark anymore, brother. They can have their weed. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!